right, Mark Tillery for the Batavia Daily News, and I'm here with our Batavia Muck Dogs Top Dog Performer of the Week for Week 6. Brought to you by Batavia's Original Pizzeria, as voted for by the fans, we got pitcher Ryan Kinney. Ryan, congrats on being awarded our Top Dog Player of the Week. Appreciate that. All right. Great to have you here, man. And you just came off one of the biggest games of your Muck Dogs career. Saturday, July 8th, taking a no-hitter into the ninth inning against top division rival Elmira right here at Dwyer Stadium uh, to help your team to its fourth straight win, 4-2. to two. Stop short of a perfect game, but plenty of chances coming up to get one. What was going through your mind at that point, man? You're about to have that perfect game in, in this league. Um, I was just trying to stay focused on the small things, just trying to be quick to the plate, make the game go back as quick as possible. And that's really it. I really wasn't thinking too deep. I was just being myself. That's really All it. right, so we're going to take it back a little bit. Back to when you were younger, who are the people from sports figures to family who have influenced you to get where you are today? As far as, like, like professional sports, like, I used to look up to Evan Longoria, but, um, like, James Shields, Wade Davis, like all the Tampa Bay Rays players. And then my dad and my mom just always kept me busy in sports. No matter, like, I was always playing football, baseball, basketball, everything. They always kept me busy, so really my parents. Now take us through this past spring at, at the University of Louisiana. How did you prepare for this season with the Muck Dogs, and what's your next stop after this impressive season with the Muck Dogs? Um, after this season, um, um, I'm attending a D3 school up here in New York. Um, preparing this season, I was just trying to um, be as positive as I could. Be positive, just um, not focus on things that I don't need to be thinking about. Just keep on one focus and that's it. How does it feel to be out on that field? Uh, it feels good. Um, these fans, I really care about the um, Batavia Muck Dogs. They, um, they live for it, all the season ticket holders. So that's really, it gives me an um, a extra reason to do good and play good for the fans because they just, they like it. This is what they live for in the summer. And what's cool, a little fact here, when, uh, when this thing airs, I was actually in the office with uh, Skip and Coach E a few hours before game time when you got called in and the camera was on, and I was able to capture that moment where they were talking to you before that big game. So that's going to air when we do this. So I, I definitely am looking forward to you seeing that. That being said, you know, your numbers are saying what they say. So it's a big opportunity. It's a big game. They're chasing us, and we like them looking up, right? So you got to keep them there. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be any, any, by, any by any basis, but because yeah. we got a long bullpen, that mm -hmm. bullpen is pretty rested, so we're going to win this game by any means necessary. And our pitch staff is going to do it. So you got to set the tone from any one. Minimize walks, keep throwing strikes, let your defense play, and, and you know, just pitch to the moment. You know, don't let it get too big. Just pitch for every moment. Every pitch means something, right? Mm -hmm. Don't let the moment get too big. Just keep doing what you've been doing all season. Just, it continues from setting the tone in the first inning. And when I come out for a visit, you tell me exactly what's going on. I don't need to hear it from Bryce, I need to hear it from you. Mm -hmm. You tell me, say, hey, I can get you one more, then we can get somebody in the bullpen. But uh, it should be a pretty big crowd tonight. Uh, it's just you and Bryce, that's it, nothing else. Mm -hmm. I mean, like Coach said, this is what you worked up for to get here, and this is this is a big stage for us, not only for the organization but for the team itself, because now the mental aspect of it, we know you got the ability, we know that because you poor oh, hell, you wouldn't be here, but the mental aspect of this is for you to get out there, throw strikes, get me outs, and you know we'll call it a day. Go as far as you can go. We're looking, we're looking five. We're looking five. Our bullpen is lights out. Yeah. We just got to get us there. I got you. Bridges right. to that. I Bridges to that. And then, again, just go out there and do your thing. Minimize mistakes. Minimize walks. Keep throwing strikes. Let these guys play D. We'll hit the ball. We'll, you know, our MO all year is we keep guys in the three runs. Three runs, we win the game. That's our MO. So that's your job. Um, and there's no better guy to just step up and, and be a dog and show them out. All right, let's do your thing, baby. Have a good day, Derek. Come on, we're here. All right. and, uh, how confident are you that this team is going to win a championship this year, finally in Batavia? I'm confident. They, they um, put together a good team this year, um, especially everybody that stayed towards the end. Everybody that's here now wants to be here. And 
And this is really what we plan for. Everybody's here for a reason. Everybody that stays here for one reason. And the fans love us to ask this question. We ask every every player, every coach so far that we've interviewed on here, white hats or red hats, man? Tonight? Yeah. White hat. The white hats. All right, well, that wraps up my questions for our Week 6 Top Dog Player of the Week, brought to you by Batavia's Original Pizzeria. We got pitcher Ryan Kenny. Ryan, thanks for joining me. Congrats again on being named our Top Dog Performance Player of the Week. Is there anyone out there you want to give a shout to or a special mention before we get our game faces on tonight? My parents and my brothers. That's it. All right, shouts out to the family. Mark Tillery for the Batavia Daily News, and as always, let's go Muck Dogs.